Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a look at the latest offering from the Sonom phone company and that is the Sonom XP5S. Uh, this is very similar to last year's model, the XP5, but has uh, a fair high number of significant improvements uh, that make it a uh, much better phone than last year's model. Now last year's model was only a 4 gig and it did not support an external memory card. This one is a 16 gig and supports a memory card of up to 128 gigs. And that goes in the back of the phone underneath the battery. The back of the phone will also support two SIM cards. Now in Canada it's important to realize that the networks in Canada do not support the dual SIM technology that's in this phone. So if you bought the phone in Canada it's only going to work on SIM card number one and that makes it very important when you're installing the SIM card to make sure you put it into the first SIM card slot and not into the second one. Some of the overseas markets will support dual SIM and you just need to check with your carrier to, uh, to make sure that that is uh, available in your area. Now let's take a look at the phone itself. On the top of the phone, last year we would have had the uh, headset jack here and the loudspeaker button here. These are both been replaced and this is what they call the expand port and that's to add on uh, expand batteries and other accessories that are coming in the future. On this side of the phone, we have the connection port, and that's where you plug in uh, a special connector that you buy from Sonom, and that allows you to run the Bluetooth, uh, or sorry, the wired lapel mics, the surveillance mics, or even a standard three and a half millimeter jack if you wanted to use a headset to listen to music or such. This is the emergency button, and again, check with the network that you're putting this on. Uh, some networks uh, will support this button, and some won't. Uh, it's important to know that TELUS does not support um, the functions of this button. Now on the bottom of the phone, if you remember from last year, we had the standard, or the, sorry, the proprietary uh, magnetic connector. They've done away with that and instead what they've done is they've put in a uh, USB-C connector behind this little rubber door um, and that makes it a lot more standardized with other phones on the market. Pretty much any modern phone except the Apple products will use USB-C. This is the microphone button. And then on this side of the phone, we have the volume up and the volume down. And in the center, we have the push to talk button. Now, on the TELUS network, this supports TELUS Link. Uh, again, if you're on a different network, check with your carrier to see which uh, push to talk app they support if that is something that you are looking to get. Now, this button is also programmable to uh, four other functions, and we'll get into that a little bit later um, in the video. <coughs> Now on the screen, on the, sorry, on the face of the phone, we have the standard keypad, we have the send button and the end power off button. Here we have the uh, speaker, we have the backup one screen, we have the clear, we have the menu, we have the app tray. Now if you push the app tray button, it's gonna launch the apps and then you navigate up and down with the uh, left, right, up, down and the select button in the center. Um, these buttons here will also give you shortcuts on the screen. Uh, for example, on the screen right now, you'll notice that the up button will take you to your contacts. The down button will take you to the camera. The right button will take you to missed events, but in this case, we don't have any because this is a, uh, a brand new phone and I haven't gotten any registered yet. If we go to the left, this takes you to the quick settings, which allows you to quickly toggle between uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the torch, uh, or flashlight, the airplane mode, and the profiles. So if you want to change some of that, because you'll notice right now we have it on airplane mode. So if we go down to airplane mode and we push the select button, this will turn off airplane mode, and then we'll get LTE and we'll get the TELUS network up here. And again, the red button takes you back to the home page. Now, just to give you uh, some quick statistics about the phone, uh, the chipset is the Qualcomm 8920. Um, it does run uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 in A, B, G, N, A, C, E, K, R, and H. Uh, it will support up to 10 different connections on the hotspot. As I said before, it's got 16 gigs of onboard memory and it will expand up to 128. It does have Bluetooth version 4 along with BLE, which is Bluetooth Low Energy. The battery capacity is 3180 milliamps, which is good for, uh, they say about 675 hours of standby or about 21 hours of talk time. So the battery is significant enough to get you through uh, just about any workday that, uh, that you could have. 
You'll also notice that this phone does not have a front-facing camera. It does have a 5 megapixel rear camera and it's a 2.64 inch uh, display with 262,000 colors. And that's a brief, a brief shot at the, uh, the technical specs of the phone. Now let's get into a couple of the actual functions of the phone. The obvious stuff, of course, is if you want to make a phone call, you simply dial the number and push send. And when you're done talking, you push end. But I want to show you something on the uh, texting. So you'll notice the center of the button is the texting icon, and that's this one here. So if we open up that, it'll give us the menu. And then we can, uh, let's just, we'll just delete this selected thread that I've got here. So we'll just delete that. And now we're back to square one. So we'll push the menu button. And then we'll choose new message, push OK. And then what you'll notice here is it says type name or number. And up here you'll see ABC. Now because of the way that this kind of keyboard works, it takes a little while to get used to it if you've been used to using a smartphone. So if you start to type here, you're not going to get numbers. You're going to get letters. Um, and if you change that, if you want this ABC to change, and I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but if you push the pound key, the A becomes capitalized. And this means it's still going to give you words, but each word is going to be capitalized with the first letter. You push it again and it's all caps. And you push it again and now it's numbers. So if you want to send a text to a number, you would simply put in the phone number. And that would allow you to send a phone to that a message to that person. Now if you want to add a second number to send a group text, you push the OK button in the middle. And you'll notice it puts this in a different color and moves the cursor over. And now you can add a second number. And it's also important to know that this converts it to an MMS. So if your rate plan charges extra for MMS, just keep this in mind. <clears throat> and you can go up to 10 uh, in, a t in a group. Then you scroll down to here. And again, we're on ABC. So now it's going to give us words. So, and if, if it gives you the shortcut to the words here, so if you wanted the word good, you would simply move over and choose that, and then you push send, and it's going to send that uh, message away. Now, obviously, these aren't real phone numbers, so it's not going to actually go. To get out of the texting screen, you just go back and push the, the end key, and it'll take you uh, back to the main page. Now let's say you wanted to take a screenshot. What you would do is you would hit the power and the volume down button at the same time. And it's going to capture the screenshot. And it's going to give you a little icon up here that tells you that you now have a screenshot uh, captured. Now there's a little bit of customization that you can do with the up, center, and the down button. So if we push the menu button and we go to home screen shortcuts and we select that, it lets you see that the navigation center key can be used for any of these functions. And the navigation up key is also programmable and so is the navigation down key. And anything that you do to the phone you can always reset in bulk just by doing a master reset. And again to get out of this you simply push the end key. Now we talked about how you change the, uh, the T9 texting from alpha to numeric by using the pound key. Uh, because this is Canada and we have two official languages, uh, you can text in either French or English and you toggle through the languages using the star key. So if you open up a uh, text and you choose, um, oops, sorry and you push the star key, it lets you toggle between English and French. And then you can just uh, move up and down and then push the uh, select key to, uh, to choose your language. So that's a brief overview of the Sonom XP5S. Um, I'll let you know a little more in detail once I've had a chance to use the phone uh, for a couple of weeks and I'll get back to you with some impressions. Uh, in the meantime, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to reach out to me in the uh, comment section and I'll do my best to get back as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.